Okay, so this has dried overnight. We're gonna remove our paint can and hopefully nothing stuck to the um, parchment paper. Nope, turned out perfect. So you can see the Mod Podge works just fine, especially with photo paper because it's not so thick. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our little cradle board and to adhere the cradle the paper to the cradle board, I'm using Liquitex acrylic medium. It's a matte gel and I like this because it's nice and thick. So make sure you have some paper towels and some water nearby because once it oozes out, you're going to want to clean it off. So you, you might be able to use Mod Podge for this Mod Podge for this as well. I've not tried that, but um, it's another option, I suppose. So, and I can't wait to do this one. I'm, I'm definitely going to try this one because I like the way the flower looks. I was thinking maybe embellishing it a little bit, but um, again, in case, I, I, I know I mentioned it, but you can cut out your alcohol ink flowers that you've blown out. Maybe you didn't like all the petals, but you like the section of it. Create a nice paper for the background and adhere it like we did this one. And then you can resin over it and it'll really look pretty. So I may do that one later on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this acrylic medium and it's nice and thick as you can see and we're going to put it on our little board here and we're going to spread it around. You want to make sure that you get the corners nice and even because it's important that it sticks to the corners nicely. Okay. That's good. So now you need to decide where you want your um, where you want to place this on your uh, photo paper. So I'm just going to wing it. I usually like to be surprised to see where um, how it ends up. I think it's more fun that way. So I'm just going to take my board and I'm going to. Put it down right about there. And now, once you have it down, you have, you want to make sure that you have a little border around the paper because you're gonna have to cut this later on. So now, I am going to take my roller and I'm just going to, it's gonna move a little bit, so be careful. I'm just gonna roll this to make sure that I've got a nice even coverage. I'm not using a lot of pressure and I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't continue to move. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it back around and you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but it oozed out of the sides. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna spray a little bit of water on it and I'm gonna clean off those edges because it makes, if you don't clean them off, it's gonna make it really hard to cut your paper later on. So make sure you clean them off as best you can. And now we're going to lay something on top. You can use books, um, anything heavy that you have. Put something on top. I'm gonna to put my paint can on top again and I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then we'll come back and work on it some more. All right, it's the next day. We're going to remove our can of paint, a little cutting board, and I think that it is adhered well. It looks like it's adhered well on the corners. Very important. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my little cutting mat and I have a utility knife here and it's really important that you have a fresh blade on it. So you can buy these anywhere on Amazon at any um, Dollar Tree, anywhere. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure you hold it down firmly. Be careful. These are obviously very sharp and you want to start cutting. Be careful not to angle your blade. Let me get you a little bit closer. 
don't angle your blade too much into it because you may start cutting the wood. So you can always cut it a little bit larger and then use some sandpaper to sand it. So be careful when you do cut it that you don't cut it too much of an angle. So now I'm going to run my blade down here and it's better to make a few cuts then just one cut. Don't use so much pressure. Just go over it a few times if you have to. Okay, so there you go. Now you may have some edges like this here where you may need to cut a little bit. You can always carefully cut it like this or put it back down and do a couple more passes but you just want to make sure that you don't cut into the wood and that can happen very easily. So now I'm just going over my edges to make sure I have a little too much over here. So I'm going to see if I can cut that off. Okay, now at this point you can take some sandpaper. I'm going to go grab some. Okay, I have a little piece of sandpaper here. This is 220 and what you want to do is to run it on the side. Don't ever go this way because it will start to lift your paper. So you want to carefully, not too much pressure, go in one direction and just sand to the side carefully. I'm going to take an old brush and just dust it off. And if you're not into doing resin, you can use the uh, Mod Podge to go over this and do a few layers and that would look very pretty as well but I prefer to do the resin myself I love that that shine that you get and you can see that it's adhered really nicely all around and now to prepare it for resin we're going to use some tape I have painters tape here and that's what I'm going to use to tape off my edges because when you pour resin over it, it will uh, collect here at the bottom and it makes it really difficult to clean off. You'll have to sand and it just makes it easier if you just tape off your edges. What are you doing? <laughs> As you can tell, Diesel's down here with me my little companion and what I like to do as I tape off is I like to leave the edge where I have adhered the paper open um, untaped because I want the resin to go over that edge and it just ensures that you have good adhesion it just helps to make sure that um, a little thin layer of the resin on the side there will ensure that everything is stuck on nicely so let me okay so tape it off carefully. Okay, so now you're ready to resin. The resin that I use is Art Resin and I really like that resin um, for a multitude of reasons. It comes out crystal clear, it doesn't have any odor to it, and um, I, just, it, I think it's a great product, but of course you can use whatever resin you like. And if you don't want to resin, again, you can use Mod Podge. I have one here that is um, a gloss luster and it turns out really shiny. And I would imagine that the shinier it is, the more dimension you get. If you use the matte one, it won't show the the detail as well that's my opinion but of course you can use whatever you like so now when you use art resin you mix equal parts and because this is a small tiny little piece I'm just going to mix a little bit and use equal parts and um, we'll, we'll go into that process in the next step 
but we've got it taped. Everything is adhered really nicely. I'm very happy with the way this looks. So we will resin in a little bit.